Hey, so today I wanted to review one of my most favorite boots. <clears throat> I guess I don't have many boots. I have my L.L. Bean boots, and then I have some um, other Rocky boots. But uh, these are a wonderful pair of leather boots that I think are great quality and are a real contender in the world of leather casual boots. These are non-insulated and they have a pretty basic uh, footbed and whatnot, but the main thing is that they are historical boots, as in they are military boots that were designed back in World War II and they're pretty unchanged for what they are now. So they originally designed them back in for World War II. They're jump boots, military jump boots apparently. They haven't changed the way they're pretty much constructed and designed and made. So I've been wearing these in the spring and then nothing through the summer. And then I started wearing them in the fall because, you know, I'm not going to wear tall boots like these in the summer with shorts. So <clears throat> you can see the wear on them, hopefully. All the stitching here, you know, is just now dots. It's no longer stitched over. Um, same with those and these. And these are nails in the boots which is pretty fun, pretty surprising, but they're not obviously that they don't have great traction. You can see that they're, they're basically flat. So they're great city boots or uh, it's not snowing boots. So if you have mild weather, then it's fine. So I'm wearing these in Boston and they serve me well. There's, we don't get a lot of snow down there, so it's fine. Ice is, I guess, the more uh, real concern. But anyways, these boots, as you can see, are leather laces, and I've worn them quite a bit, fair amount. I wear these basically primary. These are like my primary footwear throughout the fall and winter because if it's raining or really bad snow I'll wear my LL Bean boots because those are more waterproof because they don't have a seam here at all they have the seam up around where the leather is up there which is better um, but these are equally as tall as the leather boots I have so they've been broken in in my book I think they're pretty broken in I like the way that they have shown some wear and a lot of wear in the bending because the tongue kind of has to go go and do something. So it kind of scrunches in whatever way works. So these will just fold out. So that was one of the most um, trickier things is wearing breaking these in in the first few weeks is um, if you tighten them up real tight all the way, they want to be stiff and they literally don't want to bend so when you do break them in that's you bending and folding uh this right here i guess where the laces go through this little fold you're like creasing that in a way that will compress and make it possible for you to bend so that was painful pretty much um so i never really Lace these up tight all the way. They are still kind of loose. Another thing is these are not insulated at all. They're just leather. So for the most part, if you're not standing in or on snow, you'll be fine. I guess if you're standing on the cold ground for a while, that may not be best. But if you're just walking around places, you'll you'll be fine. If you're walking through snow and whatnot, these are not going to be the warm boots for that. Um, but they're leather, so they're breathable, and they do keep you warm for a good amount. Like, I get away with just wearing cotton or polyester nylon socks, and that's fine. So they do have a wonderful shank in here 
that provides stability, but there's no, you can't take the liners out of these boots. So, I can't really add liners either. So what I did, as you can see that, is I added a uh, little arch support in my boot there. And it's just this little thing that adds a little, a little more arch support. I guess I would like them to be just a little bit bigger, but you know, I I, did, I couldn't insert a whole footbed because then they would, um, they would be too thick and they would push my, you know, my uh, foot up into the boot and then it didn't fit the same. Um, so other than that, they're very comfortable. They're not. Um, I don't feel that my foot is tight in here or they're not jamming up my toes or anything. The heel is fine. There's no, um, you know, pressure points on that or anything. Um, so they're, they're good boots for sure, comfort wise. They don't have like a nice squishy bottom like um, a lot of boots are, like the Thoro Good or the Red Wing. Um, kind of, you see those boots a lot, the con kind of like the contractor boots or something, I don't know, they, they're, they're, um, moccasin toes, what, I can't remember, but they're, they're stitched up here, and they have a big foam bottom, so those would probably be more comfortable to walk around in, um, but these are, um, more durable and lasting. So as you can see, these are, um, tailor, or not tailor, um, cobble friendly, um, you can get these resold by probably any um, shoemaker or anything. So you can add more traction if you wanted to. Like you don't have to replace it with the same um, footbed. Like, you know, that's it's up to you what you want to do. So maybe when it's time to replace these, I would go with something with a little more traction than this just because this is still staying here, which is nice, but the sides are kind of wearing out, so there's not a lot of traction. And I mean, there's like no traction in the snow at all with these. But, uh, yeah, these are the boots. This is the wear that I've had on them. And weatherproofing is another thing. So you want to make sure these are good and waterproof as best as you can because you know that's best you know if you're going to walk through any water or anything might as well so again issues are you know that seam down there so you really want to be able to shove some good waterproofing in there and it's going to take a few hits of that to start making a difference and these are pretty well water resistant but this is more troublesome because this is one layer of leather here while this is that's two layers of leather and that I believe is two layers of leather and that's either two or three so this is the only area where you're doing the bending and uh, that's one layer of leather so there's a higher potential for water to come in through this seam or just straight through this so anywhere where this thing is is you're more concerned for um, water, well, um, weatherproofing. So you're going to want to put on Minwax or Snow Seal or whatever kind of, um, weatherproofing snow conditioner, uh, uh, leather conditioner you would want to put there. So that, that's probably more of your target area. Other than that, you know, up here doesn't matter that much. It barely, you know, it doesn't even bend per se. So, um, yeah, I think these are, Pretty good and attractive boots too. You can see I sanded off the sides um, because they were originally painted this brown color like the um, eyelets are, but some of them are starting to wear a little bit. Um, I would probably honestly kind of prefer these just to be like brass or something. I mean, they, they may be brass, but I, or stainless steel or I don't know, maybe aluminum. But I would just, I feel like I would want them to be you know, exposed brass or something, and not painted, but, um, yeah, I think they're, uh, pretty comfortable, and so far I like the leather laces, they do stretch a little bit, which is kind of nice, 
and when you're lacing them up they do kind of go back to their like original kind of position but uh, yeah I'll put them on for you and show you show you how I tie them and what I do because I think that they are tall boots and I don't care that much for too tall of boots like I would prefer if they had this version in a short where it was six inches versus maybe these are like eight inches or something then I would prefer that better and I could get them cut probably and uh, shortened down to something but I don't know how uh, likely that is so So they just look like regular leather boots, and that's awesome, but they are tall. They are pretty tall. So as you can see that this really bows out there. It goes together, and then it bows out here, and then it comes back up together. And that's just because you need to have something to... Uh, bend and give because if this leather doesn't have any place to go then you really won't be able to bend at all so it does have to kind of crinkle out which I don't know I don't like too much because it just doesn't look that nice but that's the way it has to work they're a little tricky to get into it's best to wear kind of thinner socks and I don't think I could really get in here with thick wool socks on. So if I'm gonna wanna be any sort of warmer wearing these boots, then I would wear really tight socks underneath pretty much mid weight socks like those. And that way I could uh, wear them a little better in the cold weather. But yeah, those are the boots. I love them, they're pretty great, stitching here is nice and comfortable, um, on the side there's cotton fabric basically in this section, I don't know why, that's what those stitchings are, is there's you know the cotton section in there that you can kind of see maybe on the side. right there the white but other than that these are great I can wear these without socks on and they're comfortable so they're great boots 165 bucks they are made in America which is awesome here's the tag Cochran full force footwear made in USA size is a 9 and I'm a nine and a half slash a ten. So I did go down a size in these boots. So definitely do that. I got a ten at first and I was way too big. So definitely needed a nine. And I also need probably like I don't know if I could have gone down to an eight and a half, but I think this is a good size for me. But yeah. Those are the boots.